Well, hello there. Hello. Hello. I'm hoping you can hear me. All right, super. Thank you, Felicita. Um, welcome, everybody, uh, to the closing ceremony and the photo competition for the ENHG uh, IEW online experience. Um, thank you all very much for having participated in the event. Um, and it's great to see you all here. Um, we'll just wait a couple of more minutes to make sure that everybody's able to log in and be here. Um, and I hope everyone's okay. We're recording this so that we can share uh, the presentation um, online as well. So just I'm just going to give it a couple of minutes to ensure that everybody can log in and um, and then we'll get going. I'm going to use the opportunity to introduce everyone to Charles Turner, if you can see him. Um, Charles was our, one of our former chairmen. Um, it's lovely to see you, Charles. Uh, Charles, where are you now? I keep forgetting. Can you hear me? Oh, I can't hear you. Oh, why is that? Uh, just a minute, let's have a look and see. I can hear him. Super. You can hear me? Now I can, yes. I'm in Birmingham in the UK. Wow, that's amazing. You think so? Yes. <laughs> well, we can't get there right now at all from here. So. I can't get to you either. <laughs> yeah. Sort of you really. Uh, all, yeah. Um, you know, in the red zones and amber yes. zones. Yes, know, that's so. right. Yeah, that's so, right. No, it's a long time since I was over there with you. Oh, so so when was that? Oh, I left in about 1997. Wow, yeah. Yeah. I certainly enjoyed my time uh, in Alain and also with the Natural History Group. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so as you can imagine, we've had our challenges um, this last year with all of the... Uh, uh, restrictions in place quite rightly too um, yes. but then also um, before that um, some of our areas that we were able to uh, explore have of course kind of closed down with the Buremi border and so on yes, so it, it has been a challenge for us at the Natural History Group to continue our, our operations and I have to say that I'm grateful to um, the committee uh, at Alain for finding the enthusiasm to have this online experience because it wasn't at all clear whether we should go ahead with an uh, Inter-Emirates weekend. Mm -hmm. And for those of you who might not be familiar with what this is, so the Inter-Emirates weekend is where we all get together as natural history groups. Um, and we're lucky that we have four at the moment uh, in the UAE. Um, and we all get together. We usually have a venue somewhere um, where we can access a natural environment fairly easily. Um, so it, it's, it's been in Ras al-Khaimah, um, it's been uh, in Fujairah, um, we've had it uh, in, in Alain and Dubai has chosen different areas. So we've each had areas that we've taken people to, uh, to then look at the natural environment and even the cultural environment and heritage and history through the eyes of the natural history group, um, which is always looking at things a little bit differently than tourists would do. And of course, that has kind of become a little bit more challenging 
And so um, some of our members were very keen for us to continue to find an interactivity during these challenging times. And this is why we then persevered with putting together um, this, this IEW experience, um, we called it. Um, and you know, thank you to everyone for having participated. So I think I would like to formally um, start the proceedings and um, welcome you again one more time uh, formally. Um, something that uh, the Natural History Group has been doing ever since, oof, uh, I would say maybe five years into its existence, has been to, to award two prizes. And one is the Sheikh Mubarak Award, which is a prize that is given to someone who has contributed significantly towards advancing natural history research um, in the UAE. And then there's also been the Bish Brown Award, um, which is named after the founder of the Natural History Group, uh, JNB Bish Brown, who was in Abu Dhabi and started uh, the group uh, there. And, and that uh, award is given more in the spirit of um, collegiality, uh, supporting the, the missions um, uh, of the natural history groups, um, encouraging others, sharing knowledge. Um, so less of a research angle, but more of a holistic approach to how we look at natural history. And so it is um, my great honor to be able to give uh, or to announce these two awards. Um, the award nominations go to Abu Dhabi um, and uh, the Abu Dhabi chapter together um, with the office um, of Sheikh Nahyan um, make the decisions in terms of who is awarded these prizes. And so what I'd like to do first is to uh, tell you about the research prize. So the Sheikh Mubarak Award and um, it gives me great pleasure to announce um, that this award this year goes to Dr. Anita Saji. And I would like to read the nomination um, for uh, her. The Arthur Put Fauna of the United Arab Emirates is a remaining source for new species records with some of them being even new records to science. Dr. Anita Saji, is since 2003 working as an entomologist for the Environment Agency Abu Dhabi, EAD, Terrestrial and Marine Biodiversity Sector, Assessment and Conservation. She is researching the native arthropod fauna and many new records could be collected during her surveys and inventory projects in different regions of the United Arab Emirates. The Natural History Group Abu Dhabi would like to give the Sheikh Mubarak Award to Anita Saji for her continuous work to update the biodiversity of the arthropod fauna of Abu Dhabi Emirate. Dr. Saji could record in cooperation with international specialists 11 new insect species to science. Indeed, you've, you've knocked your uh, microphone off. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, so, Dr. Saji has um, contributed with 11 new insect species to science and one new genus. I won't read all these out. Um, one particular wasp is from a new genus to science, and the others um, are uh, records of species such as ant lions, um, dance flies, and so on. So further important research work of Dr. Saji includes brine and sea shrimp populations and monitoring the water quality of the Al Wathba wetland reserve. In cooperation with Dr. Stefan Mitschke, two sea shrimp species were recorded uh, for the modern fauna of the UAE for the first time. And one particular of these species um, was actually only before then found in Miocene sediments. Dr. Anita Saji is working with a lot of effort to improve the collection and record of the arthropod fauna of the UAE. And with this, she improves the regional and international knowledge of the recent arthropod fauna to Abu Dhabi. The Natural History Group Abu Dhabi will try to support Anita Saji's work and is looking forward to learning more um, about her future achievements. So um, I would like to um, say uh, congratulations, Anita. Anita, I can see you're there. 
Um, would you be able to say a few words for receiving this award? Hi. Hello, Anita. Hi, hello. Thank you. Uh, good evening to everyone. And I am extremely honored to be receiving this award from Natural History Group uh, of, uh, of Abu Dhabi. And uh, I thank all committee members for choosing uh, me for the nominations. And finally, as a winner, I am very much happy and excited to receive this award. And I extend my thanks to EAD and Dr. Sheikha for great support and opportunities given me to carry out the inventory projects, which led to the discoveries of several species new to the science. Uh, from protected areas of Abu Dhabi, which were actually unexplored, untouched areas, uh, newly protected areas, terrestrial protected areas of the Emirate. And we hope more discoveries uh, will be uh, achieved uh, in the coming years. And once again, I thank you everyone for the motivation and encouragement to do, do more research on entomology. Yeah. And Thank you, hope, Anita. Uh, we will uh, develop uh, uh, all uh, the new types like uh, hollow type specimens uh, in the Natural History Museum in the future. This is like a dream now, but uh, hope it will happen. The... It's very exciting. Is, is there one of the um, species that you are particularly fond of? Maybe would you like to tell us a story maybe of of one of the discoveries when you knew that this was something new? Uh, actually, uh, one uh, yeah, cuckoo wasp, which initially uh, uh, as a new species from Albadba wetland reserve. And during my Malay trapping, it came to the traps. And uh, I, when I sorted out the collection, I, I thought uh, it, because I compared the specimens previously identified with the other uh, new collections and uh, it seems to be like something different and I myself uh, conducted uh, France, uh, Strumia, Strumia in uh, Germany or France, uh, France I think, yeah. He uh, then it, it came after a few years because 2009 uh, I collected the specimen and uh, after several years it become identified as a new species new to the science. And that's an important point you make there because people forget that these processes take a long time from having found a specimen to comparing it to keys, to looking for more keys, to finding a specialist who can then verify, to then describe and publish uh, that record um, yes. can take, I mean, it can take easily a decade. Um, yes. and, and this is an extraordinary part because- yeah, yeah. You know, After that finding uh, again, uh, because we started the, inventory project unheard and uh, uh, it actually uh, resulted the uh, findings of several other species and still the study is continuing and uh, we we are able to describe a few more species uh, in, the, in the new uh, uh, from the Abu Dhabi newly protected areas so in, in the future like maybe end of 2021 I think we could uh, uh, release a few more names. That's wonderful, um, you know, and, and it does go to show that, you know, it might, it doesn't sound like this great big number, but 11 um, new insect species yeah. and one new genus. I mean, that is phenomenal. And um, when we've just described how long it takes, um, and we know that you have many other responsibilities at EAD. So once again, we would like to congratulate you on this award, uh, very well deserved. And of course you will be receiving uh, the award itself uh, from Sheikh Nahyan um, yes. when the pandemic um, allows us to do that. Um, okay. So uh, thank you very much, Anita, for speaking. And yes, can we all show a round of applause for, for Anita? Thank you so much for all the work. Thank Anita. you. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Okay, great. Um, so Anita, I'll, I'll leave you uh, for now, um, but please stay and, uh, and listen to, to the rest of our um, presentation because now we're going to talk about the uh, Bish Brown Award uh, nominee. Oh, um, thank you. Thank you, Anita. Thank you. Um,
So, so uh, the Bish Plan Award, again, uh, just to remind those of you who maybe just joined a few minutes later, is given to a person who's made a significant contribution to promoting um, wider interest uh, in the objectives of the UAE's um, natural history groups through the means of educational activities, raising public consciousness, um, uh, playing uh, an active role in the natural history groups, um, and it is in the name of, of the founder of, of the Natural History Group, um, uh, Bish Brown. So um, I'm very honored to let you know um, that uh, the uh, award winner this year is our, our very own Alain uh, Roxanne Whelan, um, who's um, the vice chair. And I would like to uh, read the nomination for you. Uh, so we and Alain have known Roxanne for more than six years now, meeting her through our joint involvement in recording the biodiversity of the Ras al-Khaimah Mountains. Roxanne is the lead on the project, managing both, both finances and volunteering. This is volunteer work as Roxanne is not paid for biodiversity monitoring or data processing. As part of the project, we have collected insect samples for over five years now, and Roxanne has been helping in sample collection, sorting and analysis. We collect samples every two weeks. We presented the first findings at the 10th International Symposium of Surfidy held at the University of the Aegean in Lesbos, Greece in 2019. And we're currently writing up two new to the fauna, faunal records um, that will appear in the forthcoming seventh uh, volume of the Arthropod Fauna to the UAE, edited by Antonius van Harten. Despite being based in Dubai, Roxanne is a member of all the natural history groups in the UAE, attending meetings in the different Emirates, as well as having offered talks to at least two of the groups. Uh, for more than two years now, she has been the vice chair of the Alain chapter of the ENHG as well, helping to bring fresh and new ideas into the chapter and offering vital support, certainly to me um, as the chair, when our ENHG has seen drastic decline in members. She also played a pivotal role supporting the RAC ENHG um, as it was starting out and also was one of the first speakers there. Most recently, um, it's Roxanne's ideas that we have developed into the ENHG experience, which we are now uh, uh, culminating with, with this particular meeting. Uh, it is the quiet dedication that goes on in the background, constantly supporting natural history and conservation activities, raising public awareness and playing an essential role in the Alain chapter that has me writing this nomination. As a volunteer, Roxanne has been involved in more pro projects that I could possibly list um, um, in this particular uh, venue. Um, some of the volunteer activities have been, for example, uh, helping out with the Kingfisher survey in the UAE mangroves, which is a very um, unpleasant experience, believe me, because um, the kingfishers uh, breed in July and, and traipsing through the mangroves is definitely not uh, a very pleasant experience at that time. Um, she's also been involved with Dolphin Watch projects, ded dedicating hours on end, looking over the Abu Dhabi coast um, for records. So um, Roxanne is quietly dedicated, but makes a huge difference. And it is for all of those reasons that we are just so thrilled that she is uh, the recipient of um, the Bish Brown Award, because I think she truly represents the spirit of, of um, the NHG. So Roxanne, um, congratulations on, on winning this award from all of us. I can see you there. I know you're in Saudi Arabia. Um, could we see Thank you? Thank you so you much. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sorry, I'm still in the office, so I still have to wear my mask. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. Um, are you able to speak to us just for a couple of minutes? Um, no, I just have to say thank you so much, and I really appreciate the um, the award, and it, it means a lot, very much to me. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. And um, yes, okay. So we understand if you if you can't stay. Um, so we'd like to all um, say congratulations um, and thank you so much for everything that you do. We really appreciate thank it, um, all of thank the natural you. history groups. So um, that concludes the first part of our um, concluding meeting for the Inter Emirates weekend. Um, the second part, um, which will then truly conclude um, uh, the IEW experience, um, is to um, share with you how 
you all as um, natural history groups in the different Emirates have interacted with uh, the platforms that we had suggested for this interactivity. And I'm very glad to say that um, Ulka, and I can see you there, um, has prepared something. Sean has also been uh, involved. And I thank you both very much. And I would like to ask if um, um, uh, Ulka, maybe do you want to share your screen? Hi. Hi, hello everyone. Um, yes, we're here, myself and Sean. Um, was, was very happy to help out, and um, but I'll give the honors to Sean to present. Okay. We're just sharing the screen. Hi, everyone. Can you all hear me? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, so we just put together the, the data that we got from iNaturalist. eBird, um, there wasn't really data collated like iNaturalist collated the data. So we'll just uh, present to you the um, iNaturalist slides. And Orca has been so amazing as to include some of the pictures that have been taken by the participants. So as you know, um, we basically all just went out in around the UAE and we took some, um, we recorded for flora and fauna um, in place of the usual field trips that we do in, well, that we have done in the past. So in the observations, um, we've received 894 observations, 342 species and 109 identifiers. So the individuals that identified the observations and species and eight observers contributed to all these findings throughout the last few weeks. Um, so these are the eight observers. Um, apologies. My other half, <laughs> <laughs> Roxy, your, your surname has two E's. I know it has one E. <laughs> we can blame Olga for that. <laughs> um, so thank you to the eight observers that observed um, the various species. Um, we also have the top three, um, the top three identifiers um, with wide eye DWW, Angela Manthorpe, who did 466 observations and 207 species. Um, you can read her bio. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, this is the, obviously, thank you so much for going through all the um, pictures and identifying the various species. Um, in second place, we have Altaf Habib, um, who identified 401 observations and 141 um, species. And then Fifafu, we didn't get the name, but um, they were in third with 12 observations and three species. So thank you so much for um, identifying the various um, species. In total, so this is pretty much the overview from iNaturalist where um, about half the observations are research grade and then another half still need to be identified. So we can still continue to do, to do the identification. Um, out of the 342 species, majority of the, of the observations were plants. And then in second, it was um, insects and then mammal, uh, birds, sorry, mammals and birds, yeah. And then in terms of the identifications, there were 1,416 identifications uh, throughout the period. So it was, it could include other, um, other observations as well. 
Um, so the identifications were also um, a few people identified the observations to more than once. So thank you all for contributing to this. And that's it from us. That's really super. Thank you so much. And that look, that presentation looked so professional. Thank you, Ulka. That was really, really helpful. Um, uh, does anybody have any questions that they'd like to ask um, with regards to um, uh, this part of our segment? Okay, well, I guess you're off the hook, Sean, in that case. <laughs> Um, and, and Angela, thank you, thank, everyone. <laughs> yeah, and Angela, thank you so much for being the, the top um, identifier. Uh, that that really is is very helpful as well. Um, yeah, would you like to say something about it? Because we really appreciated that you participated that way. I'd um, been using iNaturalist um, a little bit before the uh, competition, and and um, I, I think you probably know that I like taking photos, so. I saw it the, the period of time when you were running the, um, you know, this, this sort of uh, exercise, I thought, well, it's a great opportunity actually to put my photos to use, you know, because I, first of all, I just love getting out at the weekend, you know, so pretty much every weekend this year, I've been out, you know, exploring parts of the Emirates and, um, and I just like looking at stuff and taking photos. And so, um, so yes, I've been a bit nerdy over it. And, uh, and I wanted to say thank you to Altaf, uh, who seems to have added, um, you know, identifications really to the, to the vast majority of photos that I've taken. So for a while, you know, we were, we were sort of in the running there, um, neck and neck but uh, but he's made a great contribution also so uh it was a lot of fun exhausting at times but um i'm just glad to be able to um you know to contribute to to what's known uh about um, what we get here in the emirates so i think that's my main motivation that's that's really good to know and and i'm noticing we've got some comments coming up and um and Geraldine's just said a number of different species is actually inspirational. And yeah, I, I agree. Um, and, and Roxanne's just said marine and terrestrial too, which was great, you know, so that, that's absolutely true. So um, so thank you. And, and thank you to actually Geraldine, I have to give the credit to Geraldine, um, who came up with the idea that, you know, we needed something that was going to get people engaged. Um, we've all been zoomed out and and you know we've all had enough meetings and all the rest and and some of us were in a safe manner still going out and and being able to record things and I have to say I'm really thrilled that um, in the photo competition some of the photographs are just you know, some of them are just in the backyard which which is exactly what we had hoped um, the the um, um, contributions would be you know for people to not feel that they couldn't contribute if if the safe way for them to engage was just by being in uh, their garden. And so I was very happy that that, that happened, um, but also very thrilled that those um, that were able to go further afield um, were able to then contribute. So yes, thank you everybody very much. Uh, so again, a round of applause to, to everyone for contributing, for um, helping us make this interactivity possible. Of course, wouldn't have been a uh, possible without uh, everyone. Um, and so, so the last part of, um, uh, of the experience is the photographic competition. And I have to tell you that committee and, uh, and myself had um, quite a lot of meetings, uh, certainly running up to, to launching the experience, but then also to try and figure out the best way to, to do the photographic competition. And it's ended up something completely different than what we agreed um, because of the functionalities um, of, um, you know, of the of the different platforms. And so I hope that you will forgive me for the way that it's ended up being. It's not quite what we had agreed on a committee, but at least um, let's hope that it works. So um, I, I'm going to 
uh, share my screen. I'm going to take my time and do this um, slowly because I just want to make sure that I um, I don't get anything wrong. Um, so yeah, I just want to share my desktop. So my desktop is just going to be a bit messy, but that's okay because I'm going to do all sorts of things. Um, so and I can I can close that one now and I can go to all the links. All right, let me tell you first how how this is going to go. Um, we have had to um, uh, curtail some of the um, categories that we had because we either didn't have any entries or um, we didn't have enough entries for voting. So in fact, there's only two photographs. Um, I think that we disagreed with uh, categories and we shifted them just so that it would be a little bit more of an experience. Um, so what you see um, are four categories that we're going to have, contrast, scapes, architecture, and animals and plants in the wild. I have to say that being a natural history group, I'm kind of glad that most of the uh, submissions were in animals and plants in the wild, but that caused us a little bit of a headache in terms of how do we vote because um, if you do a poll in uh, Zoom, we found out we couldn't have more than 10. Um, and so we, we thought maybe we break this up, and but it just didn't seem quite fair. So we went to an, another platform, which is in fact uh, doing this through Google Forms. And what I will do is I will go through each one of the categories and show you the photographs. I'm going to allow um, 10 seconds per photograph to give you, you know, to, for you to feel um, and, and see the photograph properly. Um, and once I've been through all four categories, I'm then going to share the link to the polls with you. And when you click on that, it's basically going to open a Google file, um, a Google um, form, and it's going to ask you to vote for your favorite photograph in each category. Now, don't worry, you don't need to write anything down because each photograph has a number. So I will, I will know which photograph it is and each one will have an icon. So you will recognize it. Um, so let's see how it goes. Um, hopefully it'll, it'll work well. Um, so I'm going to start with contrasts. So in contrasts, we had uh, three photographs that uh, were entered. And so I'm actually going to try and um, get rid of this so that, um, yeah, and show you the photograph. I think I can even no, it was, oh, hang on, one second. Mm. I'm trying to see if I can uh, view, yeah, let's do view. Uh, oh, it is on full, it is on, um, on full view, actually. Okay, so 10 seconds for this particular photo. These were the entries for contrasts. I will now move to scapes. Here are all the photographs that were entered for scapes.
I'm now moving to architecture. There were two entries in architecture. And the last category, animals and plants in the wild. And you can imagine that um, there are quite a lot of entries here. So um, I will do the same uh, 10 uh, seconds per photograph.
All right, and so with that, um, I've shown you all the photographs. Um, I'm just going to now take you back to um, what's going to happen next. So in a few moments, I'm going to put this link uh, into the chat box. And what you will see, you will click on it. Now, sometimes in the past, when you've had to click on a link with Google Forms, um, it's actually come up in Arabic. Um, and then you've not been able to see what it says. Um, my colleague Mazen, and I would like to thank him very much because I don't know how I would have done this without him, um, was able to change that by, end, by changing the end to uh, English. So you will see this um, and then you'll say next. Um, and then it's going to take you through each of the categories. You will see that um, there are unique numbers so that I can then associate these photographs with um, a particular uh, entry. Um, so I'm going to now um, stop sharing because you, what you'll do is you'll, you'll select, um, you'll go next, you'll go to the next categories, you'll do this four times and then you'll submit the form and then I'll be able to see um, the, the entries come in and at that point uh, I will then uh, share again. So I'm stopping sharing for now. Um, let me just get the link for you. And into the chat. Oops, the chat was already open. Okay, so you may have to uh, copy paste this link into your browser um, and do your voting. So I'm going to just remain quiet and uh, let you get on. I'm going to put a timer for five minutes and then check in with you and see how it's going.
Can I check with you? Do you need more time? Um, how many are we here? We're 25. So let me just uh, share again the screen with you. Okay, so I'm, I'm sharing the screen um, with the responses at the moment. So um, it says 24 responses in contrast, in scapes, in architecture, uh, 23, and animals and plants in the wild, 24. So I think we're all done. Um, let me just um, come back to, hmm, of course, I don't know how to do that. Um, let me stop sharing for one second. Everybody done? <laughs> Hi, Salim. <laughs> Speak to me, Salim. Are you there? Yeah, how are you doing, guys? My, my screen is blank that time, you know, so I didn't get a chance to vote. Nothing came on my... On my uh, screen so i didn't get a chance to vote so you know um there was a there was a link in the chat i'll put it there again um can you see that link in the chat oh yeah yeah okay yeah. so either click i'm not sure if you can click on it or if you have to copy paste it into your browser oh uh, let me see how it works oh okay so now well, it's um, now i got this i can vote because i was i was waiting here and patiently for something to appear, nothing came, so I, I missed that. No, no problem. We'll give you some time to vote. Yes. So it's age is catching up with me, so that's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what it is now. It is. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll we'll give you we'll give you a moment. Um. Uh, so just maybe mute uh, uh, maybe mute me because otherwise you'll have to listen to me as you're voting. Because I'll just sure I'll just sure I think I'll do that. Yeah. Let yeah. me see where is that. And, yeah. and then tell me when you're done, please. Yeah. Sure, because I have to see where is the mute stuff. So, because here the screen is full of all these pictures. I don't can see the. Uh, let me see where it is now. I have to go somewhere else to, to, to unmute. Maybe just turn the volume down. Yeah, but I have to see where it is now. I can't see the. Oh. The whole screen is covered with this one. I wow. can't. You'll, you'll just you'll just have to listen to me then. Just block me out in your head. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. Just, so uh, I, yeah, let me. Okay. I just want to tell everybody that um, so so uh, altogether we had fifty entries, um, and I think we had how many people that we have? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 people. Uh, so that, that was really amazing. So 20 people participated and we had 50 photographs altogether. Um, and um, we obviously, um, um, animals and plants in the wild were, were the bigger uh, category. I, I do just want to tell you one um, decision that I made. Um, which had we been, uh, had it been easier to discuss, I, I may have um, asked or sought uh, some, some feedback from um, other chairs. Um, but I did have three entries where it, it may have been questionable. One was the date was slightly out from the, the time that we had said. Um, but I felt that, um, you know, it wasn't fair uh, for, for someone who'd actually bothered to, to go to the trouble of submitting a photograph um, for it then to be dropped out. And there were two um, or three photographs um, from the DDCR. Now, one could argue the DDCR is not necessarily um, uh, in the wild, um, but I'd like you to think about that because in fact, the DDCR's management um, is reducing the herd. Um, you know, it's not that easy to see oryx anymore. It's not that easy to see um, some of the um, animals and plants that were photographed there. So I, I believe for this particular event, um, it was okay to allow them in, but in the future, we may have um, had a conversation um, with some of those entries, but I can assure you that those were not easy photographs to take. 
Um, and so for that reason, because it wasn't easy, I allowed them to go in and you can you can blame me that's that that was entirely my decision. Um, I didn't ask committee because I didn't want to put them in that difficult position so I took I'm taking the blame for this. So if anybody has any objection, they have to let me know. Um, so Lima you done. Now I can't hear you. Yes, I've done that. Yep. Uh, great, great. Okay, so now let me just go back to uh, sharing my screen with our polls. And here we go. All right, so um, let's go by each category. So contrasts, um, we have um, 41%, sorry, 56% for number 41. And number 41 was Angela Manthorpe's um, Stop or I'll Jump. Um, now then. <laughs> This is where I'm grateful that I've got a little bit of time still on my side. So if I go here and I go to number 41, then I can show you the photograph. And that's the one. So congratulations, um, Angela, for that. So if we go back to our poll and we go to scapes and we have 48% who have voted for number 38. So again, if I go to, hang on here, I've forgotten the number, 38. Um, I go back and I go to 38. And 38 um, is Monica uh, Fellini. And this particular uh, one is called Smooth Shapes and Colors. Um, Angela's actually, sorry, what was that one called? Oh yeah, Stop or I'll Jump was, uh, was Angela's title. So those are, uh, that's the winner in um, the category Scapes. Then in Architecture, 75% um, uh, voted for number 36. And number 36, I think, is also Monica. Uh, let's go back to the entries. Number 36, there it is. Um, and this one was called Fast Life in Dubai. So congratulations, Monica. And then um, if we go back to here and uh, this is this is something that we had been worried about that we would have a tie <laughs> and then we would have to vote again um, and of course that's going to be a bit more of a challenge now but anyway uh, we have um, a tie uh, for these two so number 27 and number 39 so let's have a look at those two uh, so again 27 and 39 so 27 which is this one. And let's go back to number 39, 39 is this one. So um, I think the best way to do this is I can't do it with my poll, but maybe um, Melanie, are you there? Yeah, I'll make a quick poll for you. Yeah, thank you. If we just do, so let's, oops a daisy, let's say um, this is number two. So the butterfly is number two um, and um, the other one is number 27. So let's go back to, to 27. Let me just remind you what that was. Okay, so we've got a tie at the moment for these two photographs. So number one, is toad number two will be um, butterfly and I would just like to ask you to vote with for that for those two for your favorite um, in this poll coming up um, here on zoom so just give it one second give uh, Melanie the chance to do that
Okay, there you go. Of course, I don't know. Can um, can you see my my screen at the moment? You can't, right? No. No, we can't. Well, we can see. Yeah, we can. Yeah, yes. You can see me voting. No. Uh, well, we, we saw something moving, but we don't know if it, it's your hand or what. That's good. I just didn't want you to see me voting. <laughs> we'll wait for Melanie to tell us what that is, uh, the, um, the outcome of that poll. We only have 19 votes and there's 24 people here. Oh, okay. It's good to see Geraldine. Geraldine, how are you doing? <laughs> it's good to see Geraldine there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm, uh, I'm okay. Still here. <laughs> how are you, Sally? Oh, just fine. Yeah, just fine. And you know, I was packing to go to Dubai, and now I've just decided to stay here a little bit longer because it seems the lure of Dubai has become a little lower than lure of, lure of Al Ain. So it seems yeah. I'm going to be here for some time before I go to Dubai. Mm -hmm. So, so good to be good to see you all anyway, and I'm, I'm glad to you know to be part of this one. Uh, I, the photographs were beautiful and they amazing? I didn't know yeah. which one I think so I had to decide by closing my eyes which one to point at. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to vote. <laughs> <laughs> because all of them were very good pictures yeah. and I really, I congratulate the people who have taken the time to take these photographs I and agree. they were great, great, really great. Yeah, we had some really nice entries and it was actually, it was nice. Um, I, I hope, I don't know, I mean, I'd love some feedback uh, in terms of how you thought the um, the Google form worked. I mean, it seemed to go okay. Yeah, it seemed, it was nice. You know, I did, the, I did take photographs, I'm a lousy photographer. So, <laughs> so, I did, <laughs> so I'm sure I'm gonna take one or two out of hundred maybe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't take part at all in those uh, taking photographs, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the results. Um, there's 23 people who could vote because it looks like I can't vote, but only 20 people have voted, and uh, I hate to say we're still at a tie. Oh. <laughs> well, that has to go to a third vote in that case. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, so let's do one final. Let's let's do one final one. I mean, unless you guys uh, look, there's there's one more question I want to ask everyone, um, and we can do it. We still have time because we'd kind of said that this experience would be until seven thirty, um, so we could still do this. Um, as you know, we normally do a people's choice, um, which is ridiculous because it's all people's choice anyway. However, what I mean is one overarching winner. And what I thought we could do for the overarching winner would be to um, take the um, four winners, or in this case, the three winners and the ties, um, look at those photographs again and just win, uh, just uh, vote for one final um, overarching winner. Uh, would you like to do that? We don't have to. If you've had enough, that's fine. Uh, those of you who would like to, do you want to do a thumbs up? Um, and those of you who don't put a thumbs down, then I can kind of count. For those of you who don't know, if you want to do a thumbs up, you go over to reactions. It's on the right where it shows a emoji face. Thank you, Melanie. Okay, have we got a majority, do you think? Well, 
I think, no, Geraldine says no more voting. <laughs> I think we just voted you out though. <laughs> it, it just, it seems, you know, I mean, like, 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 for, um, it's feeling a bit like a British election. I mean, that last vote, if you didn't think either of those was your top choice, you're thinking, well, really? <laughs> we can just have a tie. We can call that one a tie. We call it um, a tie. Yeah, let's call it a tie. Um, but you know what? I really would like an opportunity to just show the winning photographs again, if you don't mind, if that's okay. Um, and uh, Melanie, are you okay with doing one more um, um, one more poll, just very quickly? Sure. So, okay. All right. So let me just um, get out again, because what I'm going to do is to share my screen with the polls again. Mm -hmm. You know, I think sharing is a good idea. So I don't know whether I mean, everyone agrees. Sharing is not a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, no, I think I think the last two we will. Um, so I don't know, can you see my screen? I can't remember if I'm sharing now or not. No, we can't. Okay, we can't. Let well, me because just, uh, for you, not your screen. That's okay. I'm just writing down the numbers so that I, I can find those numbers. So it was number 41. Uh, for contrasts, uh, it was uh, number 38 for scapes, um, it was um, 36 for architecture, and then the, the other two winning ones were 27 and 12. Okay. Um, so I'm going to show you the photographs first so that Melanie knows what to do with the poll. Obviously, we know number 27. Give you 10 seconds again. You're not showing us anything. Uh, thank no. you, Melanie. <laughs> Voila. Okay, so 27 was uh, toad. So then number 12. Is that right, number 12? No, that's not right, 38. Close your eyes. Eight. Then uh, forty one. Okay. Number thirty six. And the last one, was that really number 12? I wrote down 12. No, I don't think so. Let me just go back to my poll. Um, no, 39. So apologies for that. Come on. I think I'm getting tired. Uh, it's 27 and I'm looking at the last one. Help me out. 27 and 39. 27 and 39. Right. Now let's go back. 
39. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so for one final um, vote, um, Melanie will send you a poll to choose your overall favorite. Twenty out of twenty-three people have voted, so maybe okay, good. Twenty-one made a decision. There's two people who didn't vote. If you have any questions about how to vote in the poll, maybe you're on a phone and it's not popping up for you. Nope. Okay, we got twenty-two out of twenty-three. So shall we leave that one last person out? Sure. <laughs> All right. That's great. Wow, we do have an overall winner. That's great. So that's 39, that's Butterfly, and that's um, Angela Manthorpe, Animals and Plants in the Wild, um, Solotail Repose. So um, thank you so much to everyone. Um, if I was clever, I would be able to tell you what each one of these are. I can tell you, I've got my spreadsheet. 41, again, um, was also um, Angela, a contrast, um, then we had, thank you for putting that back up, um, 38, which was uh, Monica Fellini, um, Scapes, Smooth Shapes and Colors. Um, then we had um, Architecture Fast in Dubai, 36, so that was also Monica Fellini, and that was Fast Life in Dubai. Then Toad 27 was um, Alta Pabib. Um, the mating Arabian toads along with eggs. Did you notice the eggs, by the way? You could see them like um, almost like a, a string of pearls. Um, and then contrast um, uh, was 41. Um, I think I already read that one out. Toad, butterfly, 39 and 41 were both Angela's. So thank you all very much for um, participating. This officially concludes the IEW experience. Um, I would like to say a big thank you to um, everybody who's contributed. And clearly, the, the Alain um, uh, committee did a huge amount. And I would like to thank everyone from the planning all the way through to uh, developing, to, to doing um, all sorts of bits and pieces uh, to make it all happen. But then also the other groups for distributing, for encouraging participation. Um, thank you, uh, Dubai Natural History Group, for adding um, the uh, IEW experience into your newsletter. That was that was very clever because then that reached more people. Um, and and also um, Abu Dhabi Group for working um, behind the scenes with us and for also working on the nominations and then um, the voting for um, the two um, prizes. And I again want to just remind you that. Uh, the Sheikh Mubarak Award um, um, uh, recipient is Dr. Anita Saji uh, for all the work that she has done on uh, insect biodiversity. Congratulations again to Anita. And then the Bish Brown Award, um, again, uh, going to Roxanne Whelan uh, from Alain Group. Um, so again, congratulations to both of the winners. Um, Thank you all. Um, have a great evening. Uh, if anybody wants to chat or, or have any uh, questions answered, I'll stay here for another five minutes. <laughs>